Please yeah. do not cast a big black woman. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like Tinder's algorithm has messed it up again. It's James A. Caster and Sarah Pascoe. <laughs> Too related. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who I'm being mean to in that joke. I th is it because we look too related? <laughs> like co cousins who've turned up, going, "Well, we did match." <laughs> uh, Sarah James, what's your team name? Well, before I knew James, I heard his girlfriend of the time slagging him off and she was saying that she didn't like the way he dressed because he had a t-shirt that had glow-in-the-dark ghosts on it <laughs> and I thought that t-shirt sounded amazing mm. and thought I'd really like to meet that person and now I have and he is a brilliant person so I want us to be called glow-in-the-dark ghosts I'm up for that I'm up for that I loved that t-shirt and I miss it still to this day where's it gone where's it gone <laughs> I burnt it when we split up <laughs> And don't you ever leave me, dear cousin, or I'll do the same. <laughs> <laughs> it was Daniel Craig's last appearance as Bond. Well, if they're searching for a good-looking, suit-wearing, wise-cracking replacement, may I be so bold as to suggest James A. Caster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You would. You would, I think, make an excellent Bond. Yeah, I could be Bond and Doctor Who, I reckon. <laughs> First person to do both. I'm putting my name out there. <laughs> to both franchises, please don't cast a woman. They <laughs> 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 have to recall. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go backwards together. <laughs> You'd be a great Doctor Who. Well, let's get started with some quiz questions. So these are the headlines of the year. Oh, okay. shit. So we have to answer these questions. <laughs> Judy, I appreciate you might not have seen much of the news this year, but you haven't ever seen this show, have you? Of course I have. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen the confidence vanish from someone's face faster than Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> OK, January saw the inauguration of Joe Biden as US president, but what must have fashion accessory worn at the ceremony prompted a Vermont school teacher to be swamped with over 18,000 orders. Where's my so, buzzer? Oh, yeah. Where's Joe Biden buzzer? was inaugurated in January. <laughs> Single... Every single answer we have to write down. It's a lot of writing. <laughs> Sorry, Judy, are we keeping you? No, I'm not really. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, was... well, that was like a Jedi <laughs> telling me to fuck off. Down. That was <laughs> remarkable. I love it if we've come up with a new version of this, which is. <laughs> <laughs> but what spelling mistake made by H gave the game away early to eagle-eyed oh, viewers? Don't know. No idea. But I'm. You've never seen Line of Duty. Never seen. My parents love it. Yeah. They tell me to watch it, which normally give that sort of recommendation. I give it a swerve. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You watched it, Sarah, right? Yeah. It was really well done, actually, Jimmy. It was. It was fantastic. If the directors and producers and that are watching and need to cast a big black woman on there, I'm. Just gonna yeah. look. <laughs> I mean. And you know what? If he doesn't get Doctor Who or Bond, he could be the new H. Yeah. 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 Please yeah. do not cast a big black woman. <laughs> <laughs> James, I think that's a meme. <laughs> Especially if they cut what Judy said yeah. and it's just yeah. completely out of nowhere. <laughs> Yay, I'm free! Yay! Do you think that parents might be like moving house to get into the catchment area for that school? Because <laughs> they want their kids to get into show business early. Not really motivating their kids on day one. Look at look at me, look at me. <laughs> You get in there and you show that teacher you can be on Big Fat Quiz on the... <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> this is what we trained for! Because they're very, very good. Yeah, they're OK, they're fine. Um, oh. is, uh, but you, you got this, Sarah, yeah? No, we actually didn't think about the politician. We were thinking more of the audience. So we thought about masks and then we went to the hair and thought about scrunchies. <laughs> I don't know if Bernie Sanders often wears a scrunchie. <laughs> You can't <laughs> prove that he's not wearing a scrunchie, in that. <laughs> I don't think Cold Uncle's got one, but possibly. No, I don't think he has. Well, you can't penalise us for stuff that you can't prove. <laughs> I asked you whose actions led to them being described as a dirty sod by Adele. What did your book? 
Um, well, I remember when her album came out, she was talking a lot about her exes, so I put her ex-boyfriend, one of her ex-boyfriends. Yeah, I can see what I can see what the logic is. Yeah, is that not right, Jimmy? No. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> Dr. Catherine Green asked you what country music legend Dolly Parton sang while she received her Moderna vaccine back in March. What did you get? We don't think we're white, unfortunately, because we don't know that many Dolly Parton. We were saying, no, I know, we were, uh, no, it's not even that. I song. said it was something fast. What what do do you you think think was? We, so we went with nine to five. Oh yeah, would have been would have been a clever joke though if she'd sang nine to five. Well, no, Jimmy. <laughs> stop being so negative for start. <laughs> And sarcastic. That's why no one plays with you. Listen. <laughs> the answer is, I actually said we don't think we got this right. Yeah. So I already said we didn't know it. So no need to be like a big horrible piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. Did well, you know Tommy oh, Petrol's got up on the wrong side of bed. <laughs> you don't want to get Tommy Petrol involved because he'll fucking finish you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tommy Petrol is flammable. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm saying. He is. Lit. So we said nine to five as well. <laughs> Said 95. Well, said 95. Yeah, because I thought the whole the whole thing was that it was ninety five percent effective against yes. the That's what I'm COVID saying. at the time. Oh, that is, that would nice. that is so, a very so clever bit of logic. She was trying to make a joke. She was just like, proud of herself. Do you want to tell them the answer, or should we go to Dolly for the big reveal? Do we still get the point? You still get the point. Okay, then yeah, take it away, Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at Dolly in action in his catchy and imaginatively persuasive clip. Vaccine, 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 vaccine. I'm begging of you, please don't hesitate. Vaccine, 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 vaccine. Cos once you're dead, then that's a bit too late. <laughs> That last line was dark. Didn't scan, yeah. <laughs> the last line of that song was dark. <laughs> and she got away with that shit because she's Dolly Parton and she gave him a million quid. But that was fucked up. <laughs> Slightly disappointed I've never made the montage. Do you know what? I was going to oh. say that. There was two things in there that I was on and, I mean, I didn't even get a look in. What, what two things were you in? Uh, the Big Breakfast, that was on after 20 years, yeah, yeah and <laughs> uh, Strictly. <laughs> and Judy is going to win Strictly, am I right, Judy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you win Strictly? No. Okay. Oh, oh, I do not. not let me. Oh, here we go. <laughs> okay. Ready? I got it. Yeah, big time. Big time. This is our round, I think, eh, Castor? We're turning this around. Yep, like a ship couldn't in the canal. <laughs> oh, one that we got right at the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Careful over there. <laughs> Nailing this one. Okay. I you think we've got all of them right. You think you've got all of them right? This time, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you familiar with the term clean sweep, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> what you do to summon the iconic horror character, the Candyman, who returned to cinemas this year. It's that you say his name three times. In the mirror. Three? Yeah. Three? Well, oh. as many times as you like. In the mirror. I said three times to Sarah. Yeah. I'm now oh. What have you gone for, Gus, Sarah? You said... I said three and he said five times. Oh. What have you wrote down? Three and five times. That's <laughs> eight times. But also, times. also, I've seen a Bollywood version of Candyman. Wow. <laughs> and the guy just says, Candyman wants, kicks the door down, he's in the house. Yeah. So, who knows? <laughs> we said five, five times as well. That's we said a lot five of times. times. I, I think Is I that... will just double check that... five times. Oh, well, Max, Jimmy, correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. In order to say it five times, you have to say it three times. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is it everybody that can eat? Huh? I've got another tub of ice cream here, Judy, if you want it. Do you want Chica? some ice cream? No, I want chicken. Is it ice cream? How is the ice cream staying cold? Got Have you got, like, a cooler you. bag? Yeah. <laughs> 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 wow. Okay. I asked you what Facebook changed their name to in the rebrand. What did you put? Meta. Better. Oh. Meta, meta. Meta. And you've gone with Sarah and James. We went confident. with Facey B. <laughs> <laughs> We thought it was going to be along the lines of what it's called now. Yeah, so it doesn't confuse people. <laughs> I think, meta, genuinely, I think off. that's a better name. Yeah. So is that what it's called now? It's called Meta, yeah. So I would say those balls are too level. Yeah. <laughs> Do not run slightly <laughs> lower. <laughs> they yeah, they heat want... up too much, that's why one is supposed to be slightly below. Yeah. From the colour, they look like they've been in James' ice bag, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, I know people say you shouldn't use Facebook anymore, but I have a group of uh, similarly aged men who all talk about Japanese toys on there, and I don't know what I'll do without it. <laughs> similarly aged? Yeah. I thought after Covid there were none of you left. <laughs> don't you clap that. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Although the deep fried Mars bar, you've had a deep fried Mars bar, presumably. Yeah, delicious. So, are we all just letting Japanese toys slide? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know we took the mick out of him for the old thing, but he said that he talks about Japanese toys of his I'm a, I'm a very valued member of the Mikura Man community. <laughs> Why does it bother uh, you? Why does it bother me? Well, just because we all got. He, he was. Swift it past. sounded pervy earlier. <laughs> He said, me and a bunch of similarly aged men get together and talk about Japanese toys. I was like, oh, yes. I bet you do, you dirty. <laughs> I can't let this stand. You're, gonna take, you're trying to take something that's pure in my life. Yes. And turn it into something sullied and filthy. Yes. <laughs> that, do you know what? You bang on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly my intentions. <laughs> and do you know what? <laughs> I succeeded. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm genuinely quite upset now. Yes. I'm uh -oh. gonna have to call on some help. <laughs> <laughs> From a certain <laughs> Tommy <laughs> Petrol. Hey, you streaky piece of shit. Now, listen here. <laughs> I said you step back. <laughs> what I love the most about Tommy Petrol, no planning at all. <laughs> also, I need you for the shades. When they go on, we'll see what I say. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's what I think. What surprising mishap befell pop superstar Shakira in Barcelona back in September? Her hips lied. <laughs> <laughs> when you watch long-winded, really sincere, heartfelt apologies like that, you laugh your head off like, I didn't pay my taxes, and I said, fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Two tweets, done. I'm, I'm still working. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some sports questions here. I'll tr we'll try and keep this fun, Sarah. I'm so sorry. You look, uh, you look disappointed by the no, sports round. No, me and James have got a secret hope that we might just know all the answers to the sport. You know, a bit like... Um... Slumdog Millionaire. Yeah, Slumdog Millionaire yeah. way. That just, it happens to encroach on our lives accidentally. OK. I right. thought they were going to donate the prize money to the NHS. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been nice. Yeah. And the England football team did pledge to give all the winnings to the NHS, so that's also the right answer. Wow. Thank you. Slumdog Millionaire in this. That is... You know what? You know who's just seen this? Danny Boyle has just seen that drama unfold. He's thinking there's a film in this. <laughs> I'm genuinely something. excited about the next question. I asked you why Unity, the inflatable unicorn, went on display at the National Football Museum. Now, obviously, Gaz and Sarah, I care what you've got. Jonathan, Judy, I, I care what you've got. But really, the narrative of this round is all about Slumdog Millionaire, yes. yeah. Sarah and James. What, what did you think? We don't know the names of many footballers. We don't, no. So what, what did you go? Bakayo? Bakayo rode it in the pool. Rode it in the pool? Bakayo. Saka rode it in the pool is the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got for this one? Isn't it the two man them who shared a gold medal because they got like a equal, um, whatever it was, they jumped high and they were like, let's share it, unity. Oh, well, that is the right answer. Uh, James, Sarah, what have you gone with? We put that as well. <laughs> <laughs> What have you got? Slumdog, baby! <laughs> what have you got? Uh, we so... slumdog your car! So... <laughs> this was something that happened to James, so I think that's why we've got the answer wrong. Yes, it was changed to a limbo contest. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what, I cannot tell you how much the attitude and atmos on this table has changed since we got tied for first. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't yeah. care for most of this. I really cared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, James and I get our um, current events from the Coventry newspaper. <laughs> and so we've got a different story about how he made everyone leave the restaurant before he ate so he didn't catch COVID. I mean, we didn't, yeah, we thought it was something like that. I mean... The fact that it's just, yeah, two... <laughs> Imagine being Tom Cruise and being that famous. That if you used to order a second chicken tikka, everyone's like, that's news. <laughs> if I met a guy at a party and they were like, you've got to meet this guy, he once had two chicken tikkas in a row. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
about to be stuck with the most boring guy at the party. <laughs>